Um, I'm studying at Columbia University right now, and uh, I think this is a really wonderful initiative that you've started because, you know, sometimes at university you have the chance to hear very established composers talk about their music, which is interesting, but I think it can also be really useful from one younger composer to another to see how you're thinking, what are the problems you're dealing with, um, how you go about thinking about your music. So I think that um, I'm interested also to hear your questions and concerns. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about my background since I saw that there's a poster out there. Um, I'm not much of a PowerPoint queen either, but I, I'm going to try <laughs> to give you something to look at. Um, so what I thought I'd do is talk about a couple of the pieces, uh, of my recent pieces. These are two, two pieces I've written this summer, um, one for five musicians, one for 13 musicians. Um, and then maybe talk a little bit about my process, the way that I work, because I've sort of moved away from, before I worked in a way that was very sort of structured and maybe a bit dogmatic, where I'd create formal plans that I would stick to very rigidly and come up with my harmony and come up with everything separately and then try to realize it. But I realized that I didn't really like the music that I was writing when I worked that way. So I've tried to free up a bit and I thought I'd share that with you. So the first piece I'm going to talk a bit about is La Forma de lo Spazio. Um, this piece features the, the violin, but it also has flute, clarinet, piano, and cello. And here the pianist, um, there's a little bit of prepared piano, but it's sort of active prepared piano, where the pianist has two small rectangular objects, sort of metronome size, that uh, they can place on and off the strings at different points in the piece to create a little bit of a more percussive effect. I also gave the pianist a percussion anklet <laughs> to wear, and at times they have to play with their foot along with the, the, their fingers, which was um, a little bit challenging, but I think that it was sort of fun. Um, and as you can see also, the performers are set around the hall in a spatialized way. So the violinist is front and center, piano and cello on the side, and then at the very back of the hall in the middle would be the flute and clarinet. Um, and this piece has been played with conductor and also without. It's definitely more challenging without a conductor. But it's kind of fun to watch the conductor too. They almost become a performer because they're kind of doing air traffic control signals to get everybody to communicate. So I thought I'd just start right off by listening to the piece and then I'll talk a little bit about it.